Hey all, Mr. Smellybeard here. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a, a couple of videos uh, in the coming while about uh, smoke grenade tutorials. And one of the things that's nice to have when you're practicing smoke grenades is is a um, you know a place to to work on it and where you have time and, and you can give yourself grenades and all that. So I'm just going to kind of go through my server setup, um, how I configure my server when I'm doing practice, and and hopefully that'll help you guys as well. Uh, so the first thing is you start up Counter-Strike Go, and you just go to play, pick offline with bots, pick the map that you want to practice. So I'm just going to pick Mirage and click Go. Uh, it's going to ask you the bot difficulty. Just pick the last option, no bots, and then and then click Go. And uh, once we get in, we're going to we're going to do a couple of uh, server commands just to set things up the way that we want and um, make it so it's it's a little easier for us to practice. We don't have to worry about you know money or round time or anything like that. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do when we get inside is we're going to need to make sure, if you haven't already, that you've enabled your developer console. Um, this is just going to allow you to enter in commands that you know will change the state of the server. So if any team, I want to practice tea smokes. Uh, now, if you don't have it already, your developer console, you bring down with the tilt button. If you haven't enabled it, you can just go to your options menu, help and options, game settings, and then right here under enable developer console, just make sure that this is set to yes. And you can bring it down by pressing your tilt button. So the first thing we're going to want to do is two minutes is not enough time to practice smoke grenades. So we're going to change that. MP underscore round time diffuse and I just set it to 9999 and it'll pick you know some appropriate yeah you can see it, it in the bottom left and change it to 60. Then we're going to want to do mp underscore <coughs> uh, buy time just to give us a little more time if we need to buy to 9999. Uh, we'll change our start money to some large amount and mp underscore max money to also some large amount. Um, now the way that this uh, server works, actually, you know, what? I'll come back to that. Uh, first, if you haven't already, uh, put cheats on. And all these these commands, um, CVAR commands, console variable commands, I'll put in the video description so that you know you can find them there. So that's a good enough start to to give us some time. Um, you can use the command um, mp underscore restart game, and then a number of seconds for how long the game should restart for. And then that's going to cause your game to restart, and all your settings will take effect. We so we can see we now have 60 lens. seconds on the clock, and that gives us lots of time to screw around. Uh, what we are going to need, though, is because when you buy, if you look, I didn't want an op. Uh, if you buy, smoke. the server thinks that I've already purchased a smoke grenade, and it limits you to one per round. So we can use uh, a CVAR command to give us more smoke grenade, and I just like to bind these to a key. So in my case, I've bound mine to my number pad 1, which happens to be KP um, end. And you can bind that to give weapon, or sorry, give space weapon underscore, underscore smoke grenade. So now I can just press numpad 1, I get a smoke smoke. grenade, and I can go to town. Smoke. Um, now you notice when I throw these smokes, I don't really know, it's hard to tell where they went. So there's a command for that, which is sv underscore grenade underscore trajectory 1. And now when I throw a smoke, uh, let's just make it do something interesting. Smoke. Right, I can see where it flew and where it bounced on walls. And then the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to bind a key, I pick V in this case, to no clip. Um, so when I press V, I can now, you know, fly around the map, and that's just going to help you follow your grenades. Um, so, you know, just to give an example, I'm going to line up for a CT smoke, which I'll explain a little bit more later. But smoke. so now I can follow the smoke. I can see where it's going. I can see where it bounces and where it lands, and that just kind of helps you, you know. Um, practice. For example, it comes I in handy. Comes in handy when I, you know, want to do a harder smoke. And let's just kind of make sure I intentionally screw this up. Smoke. You know, I can see. Oh, okay, my trajectory. You know, going for for sniper was really low. I I kind of I kind of threw that, you know, in the wrong spot. So next time I practice it, 
you know, okay, well, it was a little bit too far that way, you know, line up this way, I'm throwing smoke. and throw it longer. And, you know, that kind of helps you adjust. So anyway, that's my, my server config for um, practicing smoke grenades. I found it pretty useful, and hopefully you guys too. And that's uh, that's all for now. Okay, see you later.